Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and this is my next sketchbook tour. This is my 12th sketchbook, and it was done uh, from late. I didn't write down the date. on 9-11. From eight, August August second, two thousand nineteen, to to nine eleven, to September eleventh, two thousand nineteen. I drew this for video, and you guys probably saw that. This is Abby, a full page of our baby girl. Go check out the um. Go check out the video where I talked about Abby. It should be in the somewhere up here if I remember where to put it in that is and just some random stuff because I was trying to break into the sketchbook this page <laughs> so um, this was actually done after these this one was me for these couple pages, I was trying to determine her design. I was trying to determine her design and what I wanted her to look like now. And this is a little character of mine. Her name is Emma, and she is an elf, which has blades on her arms. She is Blade Girl. I don't know whether I'm going to... I haven't actually done that story in a long time, so there's probably not going to be a video on it, so... Either way, she is, she used to be a human, but then she went to a camp, and this camp was run by crazy people. <laughs> there were, um, so there were two counselors, and those two counselors were, turned out to be, um, they turned out to be from a different world, and Earth is dying, so, he, so they had to come and choose, f uh, four people to come and pursue the prophecy. So it was Emma. I think I actually had this, I, I think I actually did this in my last sketchbook tour. Like, went over the story or whatever. And all the characters in that, are in that sketchbook story, uh, sketchbook tour. So if you want to go check that out, then go check that out. <laughs> over here, same one. Um, I added my Prisma colors to it. Also was inspired by flowers, so Woo Now this <laughs> This is one of the characters from that and I don't know what I think this is. I uh, this is Lily, I think. Yeah. Hands and severed hand with spikes. Vent art, I guess. Abby, watercolors, watercolor and colored pencil. I actually really like how this one turned out. This was like the age of me just using, um, using pencils in cohesion with watercolors. So another one of those, I only used some colored pencils for like some deeper shading. Because I didn't want it to look too heavy for this one because it was just a light and airy sketch. So. Only the deep shadows. House that I drew. This was I actually got this reference by looking up vintage houses. And I like this one, so I drew this one. Random Sinian sketches. I wanted to just practice more poses. And I kind of I like how this one turned out. But just the face is not very well lined out and you can't really this area is very smushed together but I do like the idea of the sketch the pose then this was just some swatches oh I remember what this was I wanted to make a background on my phone because I wanted an enchanted forest on my phone so I decided to draw my phone which I don't actually like the result but I still have it there oh this we're not going to talk about this. 
this was another house, and I did watercolor with this one. I didn't actually use any colored pencils in this one. It sort of got a bit messy towards the end of it, but I still like how it turned out. And it actually does look like a ref the reference I got. Um, this is me just... I was doing like an experiment of whether I wanted to use my artist loft for her skirt, for her hair, or the Tombow. And the Tombow is definitely a lighter, like more off off black than the more pointed black that artist loft has. And you can sort of see the legs through the Tombow, so I really like that that look of that. So I used that. And this one I use artist loft for the hair and I don't like it as much as I did this one. And this one I was really getting her colors down again. I I already did all of this character design in another one, but I wanted to return to this and just, because I had, hadn't drawn her in so long that I forgot how I drew her. So I tried to draw it the way, I don't like her hip. It's uneven, it just didn't match anything else on the paper. Over here is just a picture. I actually really like how this turned out. I was practicing profiles, because I hadn't done that in a long time. And they are sort of wonky, but I am I think I'm getting better at them right now. Random girls. Oh, I remember what this was. I was trying to design Abby's sister, Layla. Uh, another thing from the video. <laughs> from that video, so yeah. Another picture of Abby. And some swatches. This... <laughs> This is the life drawing stuff that I did when I was on vacation, not vacation, camp. I was out camping and I drew this one because this is just a nice area. I didn't do any more though. I was trying to, I had never drawn, I have only ever drawn Neko once. I don't like this color scheme. I want to change it to be more green with just, more green and black with just more of yellow pops. And with his ears, hair, and tail, and none of the rest. And I don't really like the the top, the 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 yellow in the artist loft anyway. I do this one. I like it. I like how it looks very spray painty-ish, and that was what I was going for. And the background is not real. It's just me trying to get the blue off of my thing so that I could do the part. The, stuff. The border. Oh! <laughs> I did a lot of story writing in this story. I'm not gonna read this because either way, even if I do read this, it's not spoilerish because I'm not doing this story anymore. But it's a really, really long story. And... This is just me playing out the entire plot of the entire series. It was more of just like a series, a show. If you want to read it, then you can just pause whenever you feel like it. Uh, more of Ana, who's that character over here. I don't know, I was having some art block right here. <sighs> um, Vent-ish art. I wanted to draw one of the characters from Ana and the Magic and and Mother of Seth and this is this is I so I, I went back to something that I used to do when I had art block a lot. I just took my markers, I scribbled down different blobs of color and I saw things in them. Most of them were magic related, probably because I had magic on my mind. And this one's sort of like a sci fi car or whatever. I didn't do anything on that page because I, I it was just Mark Luther. And again, this one with color. Abby. Oh, so this is a dream I had. Itheris was a young girl. Her town was attacked and her parents were killed. She and her brother plotted revenge against the people who killed her who who hurt them. They make friends with a girl named Mara. They they go to the enemy and pretend they're on their side. After finding out 
after finding the one who killed her parents, uh, Arthurus blows their cover. They try to run with the help of Mara, and Arthurus gets captured, but Monaco is safe. This is a dream that I had, and I was Arthurus! My dream was really just, um, it was where me and Monaco, the brother, I didn't actually have the name for him, but I had the name for my character, who I theorized. I don't know how, but that's, that's where I got the name from. So that was the little name of the character. So we went in, it was just really easy to get in, and it wasn't like I have the story now where they had to get in a different way. They sort of just walked in and nobody really noticed them. They just walked in as refugees, and they sort of just tried to hide all the time, and they didn't do anything while everybody else was training. And then, the next thing I know, we're running away from the guild, and uh, this one girl is shooting arrows at us, and and then I see, and then we're on a, we, we go to a gravel road, and then across the road, we see Mara coming in with a an army of animals. <laughs> and later, we're all running, and Mara got ahead of us. And it was just me and Monaco. I was a bit behind. <laughs> and then I got shot with a dart gun. <laughs> and that's the end of this. That's the end. <laughs> I actually turned this into a story because I really like the dream. Um, this is more of, of Kit, aka Black Widow. Room design. It was actually a thing for, um, for Anna at the Magic Seth. I wanted to get their dorm room, but I think I want it to be a lot bigger because there are three people in it. Girl in a bottle. I actually still like this one better than this one. That thing, that thing. I swatched out pens for school because it was back to school. And this is a little drawing that I actually turned into a character named Mara and and Zoe, who are a gay couple in my series, in a little series that I have. Those are little ghosts, ghosts, little tiny spirit babies. Um, <laughs> it's Dylan and Aaron. Dylan the demon and Aaron the angel. This is the first time that I actually drew an Aaron, and I had the idea. I had the idea that maybe um, Dylan got his wing broken and they had to run away, and Aaron just scooped him up and flew away, revealing for the first time his black wings that are beautiful and I love them so much. And I added some roses because to sort of pull back together because he does have rose tattoos. And they both have reddish eyes. And I put it together with pink. A bit pink red because I just want it. It just seemed more cohesive. And with some little dashes of green. This is my room. I put, posted this. Um, this is just my room with all the added details. And I changed a couple things. But that's pretty much my room. I was just sitting in my chair. A little candle thing. Fire. I was practicing drawing fire. This is where I drew a castle. And I really like the castle. I was going to confine it to one space, but then I decided to make it huge. And that's what happened. I did a lot of details for that. Mara? Not the Mara from I, my dream. Mara from a different book. Mara from this series. And I like... Mar Mara's supposed to have glasses. Imagine her glasses. Finally, a good face for once. Nice. No glasses, but she's supposed to have glasses in the book. Actually, no, I don't think I'll have her glasses because I already have too many characters with glasses, so no glasses, no glasses, no glasses. Oh. <laughs> this, I made this. So, it's just the two shoes looking at it, and then this one smashed it, and then this one's like, do you even have a soul? And then he said, no, I do not have a soul, because he does not have the soul of a shoe. And it was just a pun that I came up with, and I felt like making a comic about it. 
um, character. This looks like it could be either Abby or Sky. Either way. Either way, this is Venti. And this also Venti. Um, well. More severed, more severed and bloody hands. Great. Nice fingers, though. I really like how it went. I, I actually still like the result of it, because, but it's just bloody. Just a drawing, and now the drawing. No, it, no, this is not Abby. This is Mara. 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 Not Mara. Kala. I want to do a video about Kala, Kala's story, but I want to get a few more books out for a few more details on her story first. Fire, lighting, horrible watercolor, because I was not feeling it. This one, still not feeling it. Hands again. This one was not severed, and this one has some bottle man, and I did some tattoos. Oh, this morning I got back into drawing again, because I was reading, uh, no, I was constantly listening to the musical, and so I couldn't help but think of little baby Annabeth, and I loved her. I love her so much, so I lined her at this one, because all this much... And this is just normal Annabeth. No more monsters. She's so cute. Also, by the way, if I sound weird, I'm kind of sick. It's allergies right now. Uh, Nora, daughter of Edina, who is the goddess of wind. Her and also her. I don't really like this one. I don't like the face, but I like this one. I also read another one. This one took me five minutes, this one took me five minutes, this one took me seven minutes. I have drawn Abby so many times that I just know how to draw her. <gasps> ah! So, uh, I was writing Kala's story, and Kala and Lily are supposed to be rivals in the beginning, but then they end up becoming... Dating! <laughs> And basically, I just drew this because I thought that this would make a perfect, like, intro sequence for, like, the second season or whatever. This is just basically a knockoff of the Bakugo and Deku one. <laughs> Except, sad. Uh, this one, I was going to draw this digitally and, and I was going to color it digitally and post it, but I... Just wasn't in the swing of it. I like this a lot. I love it. It looks so nice. Um, me, Jazz, and the Plague Doctor Society. <laughs> so basically, I was, uh, me and my friend are planning on doing this thing where we, basically we make the plague and post it around the school. And if you ha find it on one of your objects, uh, an object belongs to you, or, or uh, an object on your table. If you find one on your table and you touch it, then you automatically have the plague. And the only way to get rid of the plague is to contact the Plague Doctor Society. And we will judge you and see if we should let you have cured. See if we should cure you. We haven't actually started it yet because we want to get permission to see if they'll be okay with it. More of that. I just want to design it and. I actually had to go and get references to draw this. This is the first design, and these, and then I simplify it even more later, and you'll see in a second. This one, this one's like cute. This one's cute. Um, venti watercolor stuff, random stuff, a page full of doodles. This one, who I used the exact same colors for her, um, her, with and without her, um, uh, her costume. I like the style of both of these. They just look really chibi-ish, and they look like video game characters, whatever. I like it. I really like it. And I like how they both seem to have the same style. And I was working on making them have a similar sil silhouette and um, like color scheme in certain areas, so I did that stuff. 
like with certain markings and just stylizing it in different ways. Uh, random thing, Leo and PDS. PDS, Leo and Festus on the... <laughs> Leo and Festus on the, um, the, 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 uh, on the ship. <laughs> uh, Miles. I, I was reading, um, House Hades. I'm still reading House Hades because I stopped reading for a while. I started reading Percy Jackson. Again, I <laughs> reread Percy Jackson. Abby, Abby, spoiler, Abby... PDS Pidge, who is my friend Zoe, and I was working on these two, and I like I was going to go with this one, but we decided on this one because it just matches their school colors more. Oh, also, I am a time traveler. I think I did that with another one too, but like I keep dating things wrong, and in the future, I'll, why am I a time traveler? It's tw why am I time traveling the twenty eighteen? It's twenty nineteen. Mouth. Shine at myself. Um, more of Abby and just depressed Abby. This is before I changed everything. Well, this is sort of, uh, spoilers. <laughs> this is, um, a throwback to a character that I was working on. And this is her dragon friend. <laughs> this is inspired by Holly Trainer Ryan. Um, this is part of my, um, this is a part of my, uh, s superhero stuff. Titan. His name is Kronos. Kronos comes and tries to steal the little girl. A young girl in a village of an empire in a world... Wait, what the heck is this? Basically, I was watching Mulan, and I tried, decided to... Okay, I do this a lot, where, like, I watch a thing, and I'm just like, what if this happened instead? So rather than just writing a fan fiction, I take everything about it and rewrite it. But it's the same story, same plot, same things happen, but different characters, and a few things change. That's what I did. And this is, this is basically Mulan. Except, stuff happens. I was working, I was going to do some animation stuff, but I decided not to use that, I did that thing, and then I did this in cohesion with my, I used Christmas color, um, with my, uh, with my Tombo, with my Tombos, not Tombos, Touch New, and I think I like it. It just looks to me off, though. Oh! I was going back to a story called Rise, and. I was working on a second book called Fall. I, I have the plot for both of them already out, but I kind of want to work on them. I want to work on the first one before I finish, before I work on the second book a bit more. So I haven't finished the first book because I don't know. I have a lot of things that I just haven't planned out yet. I need to do that. Abby, looking sad. All right, um, dogs. Well, that happened. Oof. What can you do? Um, this is Jake, I believe his name is. Uh, Aaron and Dylan. Um, he's the human that these two were, that the two of them were assigned to. I hated his hair, and I hated his hair, so I tried to redesign his hair. I like this one better, and I don't like this one at all. Pidge. I like him. Even though this sort of looks a bit off, but we're just going to say that it doesn't look off. This one looks adorable, and I drew a dog because I had a perfect reference in front of me, and he was adorable. It looks a bit off, but because he, he was a chihuahua. Chihuahua. Uh, more of the... <laughs> more of the musical. <laughs> I love this line from the book and from the thing where a person... Well, in the, in the musical, it's like... Um, it's like the most beautiful face that I've, I have never seen, a more, uh, I've never seen a more beautiful face, uh, 
No, never seen a face as beautiful as you drool in your sleep. <laughs> it's hilarious. And then a good kid, my grandparent, and drive. Just, these two are my favorite songs from that. Because... Because <laughs> I'm going to cry. I am an orphan. Oh, this is another dream. I have a lot of dreams when I'm orphans. Why do I want to be an orphan? I'm being so loud. <sighs> this is the dream that I did that day. And this one was actually a very old one. This one's this one. I am an orphan with another kid. I'm an orphan with another kid. We are constantly trying to escape, but we always get caught. After I, after a while, I give up. But he is still persistent. One day after, after we search for him. After one, one day after we search for his turtle, we are visited by a man who looks exactly like the boy I live with. My immediate assumption is that he is his sole counterpart, whatever that means. That's where it ends. Apparently, in this universe, you have um, count. Your soul has a counterpart, and my character, my person, I in my dream explained this all to the little boy who didn't understand any of this. How did I understand this? How did I know this? How do I know this? I didn't get any names for this one. All I know is that the boy and the man looked like vampires, and the man more so than the little boy. Well, the little boy looked more like a vampire, but the guy looked like an undercover vampire. The boy I lived with were, were a tux. And he had pasty skin with black hair and red eyes, I believe. He didn't have fangs, but he looked like a vampire. <laughs> and he had a pet turtle. <laughs> it's great. And this other one. I am an orphan. I go out into the gut. I go out into the garden and find the fountain interested. I find the garden infested by, by flowers and butterflies. A fairy appears and sings a, and si and sings a song. Jump. I am in a treehouse in a magical forest. Vi in a magical forest village hiding from the guards. I am what uh, I am with a giant bear who talks. I'm with a bear who talks. Apparently, this magic village is not very fond of humans. That's not how you spell very. So I'm hiding. Now I can't. Now I'm a little boy. In a similar situation where he is hiding from the same village. Where he's hiding in the same village. He gets caught and back to being the girl. I witness him being dragged out by the guard and revealed I am crazy and jump out of a window and protest. This is where I wake up. This is my old dream, but why? Magic. Imagination. What is in my head? How do I come up with this, with this trash? How? I don't know. This is where I updated that story. Um, I don't want to read it. But you can read it if you feel like. I'm just going to show you this part. And then this part. And that's all I got. I don't really have a lot yet. But yeah, just pause it if you want to do that because I'm not going to read all of that. Sketches, sketches, sketches. I realized that I don't really know how to draw a lot of different clothes. I try to draw, draw um, Nora and Abby or without a ponytail. I don't like it. Helen, I w did some more stuff with Nora and Abby and Milo and more to presents it and um and um Pidge. I was working, I was going to draw the thing, but then I decided not to, so instead I went with this one. So this is the page of Hannah, who is a little girl who, who is an eight-year-old girl who is feisty and very talented when it comes to, um, medical work. She's an eight-year-old, but she can give you surgery. How do you feel about that? This is in a world where it is where there's no choice but to teach your kids how to survive in the world because the world has been thrown into wars year after year and it is at the seventh world war world war and we're in america and then slowly the entire world is corrupt by by atheists so now we are in an atheist world and we are trying to hide I'm not atheist 
Atheist. Atheist. Not atheist. Whatever the he I forgot what it's called. Anarchist. Anarchist. Where basically there's no laws. So everybody is on a killing rampage. Because they just want to survive in this world. And plus the, the people who started this whole thing are dropping bombs everywhere. And basically we're just trying to survive. And this is Alex... Hannah, and then there's this, the boy character named Aaron. E R E N. Because <laughs> I'm weird. But yeah. Um, uh, Hannah was never taught how to use a gun, so she uses a bow instead, which is very. It's, it's easier, and it's silent anyway, so. Better anyway, so. And she. Very talented. She's just. Bossy girl. Abby. More Abby. This is when I was trying to. Change her. This is more Abby and more Abby. This is a thing I drew in that video. That video should already be in there if I haven't forgotten. <laughs> if I forgot. And nah, uh, that's when I decided to redesign her. I was doing her stuff and I just. I looked at the meaning of Aina, which is actually in Japanese. If you break down the two the two um, syllables, it means love and affection and vegetables and greens. Which, with the character that Anna had been had become, makes a lot of sense. I don't know how I do that. <laughs> what I do is I end up like just doing things unconsciously, like that make the story better. And then when I look back, I'm just like, how did I do that? <laughs> like I just add a lot of metaphors and like, it's like. Good character development. That's just not what I... I'm not meaning to do any of this. I do not do it consciously. I just do it unconsciously. I just do it because I do it. I was used to it. I don't know why. Oh, this is really fun. I did ink stuff. I like ink. I'm starting to get back into ink again. And there was this one... Oh, born into witchy things. So, Black World and One Flower that she is blooming. This is the thumbnail for the thing. And then here is where I decided to change in a story. I don't think I'm actually going to go with her. I'm, I don't, I don't, I think I'm still going to keep the other story. Maybe, but that one's a knock, knock, knock off of anyway. Anyway. So, ancient magic. Anna, or now her name is Era. Era is a little witch girl who is, who has dedicated her life to protecting the forest she, she was raised in. After the queen has been assassinated... Uh, ha has been assassinated using magic. They accuse Anna. They accuse Era. Era tells them she is exper ex experiencing similar chaos with animals and in nearby villages. She suspects a a dark and powerful witch is behind it. Pharaoh, the youngest prince, accompanies her on a journey to find this sor the source of this. Ancient and powerful magic. The source find a source of ancient and powerful magic. They find out the witch's intentions are more sinister than they than they thought. Can the can the can the duo can the duo save the world alone? Era. She's impulsive. She is kind. She is hot headed. She is brave. She is a warrior. She is a golden witch. Which means she does not restrict herself from any types of magic. She is... Except dark, which most witches restrict themselves from. She is 14 years old. She lives alone in the forest. And she is pre protector of this forest. This is her color scheme. I didn't... This, this is not her complete design. This is actually the first time I've ever drawn her. And I drew her later. Again. But just adjusting that and then adding some bags for them on their journey. And I was doing this for Pharaoh. Yeah, Pharaoh. Pharaoh. So, this is his design. I love this little baby skin! I wasn't really getting any of this so far. Um, I, I used a lot of different references from other people's character design to just to um, Prince outfits themselves. And I added uh bag on his back and he has a tool belt with a knife. A dagger. 
this is when I did the questions. This is him. This is his little character pet character page. He is supportive. He is curious. He is soft-hearted. He is a Freddy cat. He is rational. He is the youngest prince of a royal family. Of the royal family, he likes to think not logical. He wants to avenge his mother's death, and he would do anything to protect someone he hears about. He is 14 years old, and he is a scaredy cat prince. I really like his character. <sighs> more stuff, and more witchy stuff, and more pinch, and more witchy stuff, and whatever the heck this is. I was doing a little bit of practice studies, trying to determine my style. I don't like how this turned out. Era. This is the rerun of that one. She is. This is her new, her new character design. Okay, so that did from this to this, this to this. Swatch page and the last page. Bye, little Abby. So yeah, that was the sketchbook. If you want to see any of the, if you want to. If you want to see more of any of this content, you can go and subscribe. And I'm actually currently working on my third ske 13th sketchbook, which I just started today. No, yesterday. I started yesterday. And I will be done pretty soon, actually. I'll probably be done within a month or over that. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I really did love making this sketchbook. Well, drawing in the sketchbook. I messed that up a lot. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!